the video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. Hello there friends and neighbors. Welcome to this reaction video. Now this is going to be a quick one. I couldn't resist because this got sent to me and it's not even two minutes long, but it is so full of balderdash, I had to share it with you. So here we go. As you can see, it comes from this channel right here, colon space, blah, blah, which is actually a pronoun and another pronoun because this is not correct sentence structure because there is a space between this colon and the first letter of the first word of the supposed fact, which it's not a fact. It is a pronoun. Same thing here with the colon space chattel for their dinner. What in the blue heck is that? Of the chattel for their dinner. How do you say that backwards? Of the chattel for their dinner. Of the only slaves book with the part. Oh my goodness gracious. This is atrocious. How do you read that backwards, friends and neighbors? How do you read that backwards? If it was to be correct, and I'll, I'll correct it for you right here for free. So the commander or whoever he is of this channel, this is my gift to you. Okay, out of the goodness of my heart, here's a little bit of help with your obvious difficulties with correct sentence structure. Your colon would be tied up against a chattel in chattel. For the chattel of their dinner, is with the slaves hyphen book by the part two period that's one simple way to say it even though it's a very kindergartenish sentence and sentiment that's one way to correct it also if you've been listening to the most recent videos i've done this is what I'm talking about. You see O-N-L-I. This is what this guy does. If he sees a word that he wants to use that has L-Y at the end, he'll just change the, modify the Y to an I. And oh, it's okay. Even though it's a vowel in front of a consonant, not only is it a vowel in front of a consonant, it's a vowel in front of two consonants, which is a particle of negation. Supposedly, this guy claims to have something to do with the creation or the publication of this grammar. I highly doubt it based upon craziness like this which is complete and utter fiction babble balderdash quantum gobbledygook as we say so this is the, the thing i'm going to be listening to and let's get to it the former president's plane took off from newark airport and he was en route to atlanta where he landed just before seven o'clock headed to the fulton county jail unfortunately he has no full closure on the theater that he's actually in. How does he know that? You cannot make a claim for someone else. Okay? So how does he know that? Does he personally know the guy he's talking about? Does he have permission to speak for that guy? In a, a theater. So that means it's a, actors on a stage, I guess. I don't know. But let's listen to a little bit more here. 
are just getting information right now that he has arrived at the Fulton County Jail. Former President Trump is arriving at the Fulton County Jail right now. You are in a foreign vessel in dry dock. I am the master of the foreign vessels in dry dock. So this guy is saying that President Trump is in a foreign vessel in dry dock and that he, the guy speaking, the guy in, in, on, in the photo that you see right there, is the master of the foreign vessel in dry dock? If that's true, and the said foreign vessel in dry dock is a jail or a prison, and he's in command of that, if that is true, then why are so many innocent people behind bars still? Why are like, I don't know, five to eighty percent of the inmate population of the prison system in past tense United States, supposedly that this guy's in charge of, nonviolent drug offenders? Why why are they there? If this guy is really in charge, then why hasn't anything gotten better? If this guy is who he says he is and can do what he says he can do and can back up the barking he does on the internet, if he's really in charge, then why isn't he making stuff happen? Because the fiction system can sure make stuff happen. The fiction system can sure put President Trump behind bars. But I mean, President Trump is part of the fiction system, as is that guy right there, obviously. Because if you look at the words he's saying and then match it up with the performances or lack thereof, you can see exactly how much power that guy has or doesn't have. And if zero has been corrected, if zero has changed, then the level of power that someone like him has is zero. It's logic. It's common sense. If you don't ask me, look at the carnage behind me and believe me, they know their space. You don't check in. And if you check in, then you agree to the terms of the booking and the billing process and they're moving you as cargo here. You're a commodity, you're chattel. And as chattel, guess what happens? You get to be somebody else's meal. Okay. So what he's basically saying is if you acquiesce to what's going on in the fiction system and you allow them to file you into that location, then you are now chattel. Okay? Or chattel. How do you say that word? Sorry if I mispronounced it. But he just said that he's in command of that. He, he's the, the commander of that foreign vessel on dry dock. So, is this just something, if this, now, I'm, bear with me, folks, all right? I'm just going out on a limb, just doing sort of a devil's advocate thing. If this guy is really in charge of all this stuff, then he could stop this. If he really is in charge of it, if he really is about that rule one, rule equal life, then he would be putting everything on the table so that all the people, whether they're citizens, whether they're not citizens, whether they're live life claimants, whether they're not live life claimants, it doesn't matter. He would put everything out there for everyone to see so that everyone can partake with it fairly and squarely. Fair and square. He would be like, you know, this is what it is. This is how everybody can be on equal footing. I invite you in to be on equal footing. Let's go. But no, that's not what's happening, is it? No. You see all this stuff going on in the theater that he's talking about. Apparently, good or bad things, depending upon where you, where you sit, what your personal bias is. Him saying, claiming that he has command over all this stuff. That he's like the leader. People listen to him. He tells people what to do. Really? Well, then why does this stuff keep happening? Why has nothing changed? Why has nothing gotten better? Or is it just a ruse? Where it's one guy like this 
who takes photo ops like that, which is obviously a posed photo, to get people, to play on people's emotions, to get them to back, back him up, to support him, make apologies for him, make excuses for him, so on and so forth, for this. What makes sense? Somebody saying that they are the master of the cosmos and then the sun comes up and the people say, oh my gosh, if it's sunny all day, our crops are going to burn. And then the master of the cosmos steps forward and says, you know what, people? I love you. I'm not going to let your crops burn. And then boom, he pushes the sun back down and there is no sun. The crops don't burn that day. And actually, he makes it rain so that the crops grow. And then the sun comes up the next day and everything's fine because he's master of the cosmos. He can do those things. He performs on his claims. Or if you see the sun coming up and, the, and someone who claims to be the master of the cosmos is standing there and the people say, please, master of the cosmos, can you help us? If the sun stays up all day, our crops are going to burn. And then the master of the cosmos says, Sorry, I'm not a babysitter. You guys got to take care of it yourself. I'm master of the cosmos, but you got to deal with the sun yourself. I'm over here doing my thing. I don't have nothing to do with that. But I am master of the cosmos. You see what I'm saying? I don't know how many different ways I can say this. The proof is in the pudding. And... As far as I've seen, there is no pudding at all. There is even no pudding. The proof can't be in the pudding because there is no pudding. There's nothing except this. Incessantly this. There isn't any grammar teaching. There's nothing. It's just this. Join my Patreon for a private audience with my handler or whatever. All right. I've had enough fun with this because it was fun for me. Um, I know making these videos doesn't make me any friends, but if that were my concern, if I, if I were concerned with making friends, then I wouldn't make videos like this. But what I am concerned with is warning people about pitfalls so that they can make their own choices about who to listen to and what to do about it and how they can become autonomous and learn the grammar themselves. Which, by the way, the sum total of my correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, knowledge is included on this YouTube channel and over 800 videos, probably going in, closing in on 900 videos by now, free to the public, to you, if you want to learn it. There's no posing. There's no photo ops. It's, for the most part, just grammar and the psychology thereof, and also warnings about pitfalls and landmines such as this. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.